All right, you guys, we've had a weird morning already and an even harder night last night, but Jason and I finally made it. It is noon. We finally made it for our walk. Let's get this stuff kind of put away here in the car and then we'll tell you about our weird night and then <laughs> why it was hard to get to the walk, why it was so hard to get to the walk this late. All right. Oh, it feels so good to have the sun out. So that was the thing this morning, is that the sun was out when I got up at eight o'clock, got Ashley up, which she was already up at 7.40, somehow her alarm got switched, and so she was up 20 minutes early, 30 minutes early, and I was like, okay, the sun's out, you can hear the birds, I'm gonna be motivated, let's go get the walk in, and then come home, shower, we can run all our errands. Like minutes after we had breakfast, and got Ashley to the bus, dark clouds, and it started to rain. Literally an hour later, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. We were both so motivated. So, we went to Costco instead. Got that part done. Okay, so, last night, <laughs> I don't know what was in the water last night, but um, the kids went to bed fairly good. Um, they went to bed, yeah. Went, went well, but about at midnight, Ashley came in, she was tired, but couldn't go to sleep. Tried to convince her to take melatonin, but she just had a drink of water. She went back to bed. About 12.30, Chelsea, Chelsea came in, not able to breathe. And she had already done her inhaler three times yesterday, up to that point, and her little nebulizer treatment. And so I'm like in my head, okay, we're gonna have to go to the ER because the urgent care was closed at that point. And so I'm just like, lay here and rest and wait for another 20, 30 minutes to see if the inhaler puff again will kind of help her get some sleep. I also had her sit on the front porch. It was really cold and rainy last night and so- She opened her window by her bed. Well, she did open her window by her bed, but I had her go sit on the front porch for a second to like get that moist air in her chest and then I think that helped because I, no, she came in one more time. And I was like, oh, we're gonna have to take her in. But then I think she passed out. And then Ashley came back in and that's when you took melatonin, but then <laughs> he like took it and got back in bed and I saw out of my peripheral what bottle he took. It was the 10 milligram one. I was like, oh no, how many did you just take? And he's like, two. And I was like, you took four times the dose. <laughs> so Whoa. he was quickly out. No, I wasn't actually. No? no? Lots of people on the path today. Anyway, so then we just kept having kids. Oh, and then Abby came in and her charging cord caught on fire. Yeah, that's worse. We were like, what the heck? Dude, busy path. I haven't had this many people on it, but the second we get sunshine here, it's like everyone goes out, everyone puts their convertible tops down. <laughs> anyway, so it was a bad night. Neither one of us slept very well. And then, so to wake up so motivated to get out for a run, on a walk, or whatever, I told him to like, if he wanted to run ahead of me, he could. No, I'm just checking my lungs, see how they're doing. Yeah, but, anywho, so, by the time we left Costco, sun is out and it's warm, and so I was like, run, let's get the Costco food home, <laughs> so we can get out for a walk while it's actually sunny. And then we have to go get power charger for Abby for her phone because she also had one stolen stolen out of her bag during yoga on Friday. And they stole $15 in her wallet and then a jacket and pens. It's like weird choices of <laughs> things to steal from someone's backpack. I don't know. So <sighs> put this down, take you guys along for the ride. As we go for another walk on this trail. Kind of hoping to find a few more. Maybe kind of up my little elevation. But this is good I like see. the quiet of this one a lot. So how are you guys doing? How was your um, weekend? How are you doing? Is the sunny summer sun coming out for you guys? You know, let us know if you have rainy skies still like we do. Been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes
to hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the way We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down All right, so someone commented, I think it was Heidi, about the car that's on this trail up here. We're coming up on it up here. We don't know the story of it, but we're assuming there used to be a logging road up here. Um, yeah, for sure. And that's how the car got up here. And then, I don't know. Probably still just got, got left. Yeah, I got left. And so now it's become like one of the hikes that the high schoolers go on. Hike up to the car, car hike. Um, Which isn't a far from school, really. No, just get some. It's a landmark. Yeah, but where did it go? Did we already pass it? No. Oh, oh, it's right here. So Wait, that's this is what a this different car. Well, is there another one? Yeah, there's another car. Is it a bus? There's another car. Because that's what I've heard is that there's a bus. Uh, there's another car going on the other trail. It's yellow as well. So I don't know. Just a random car up here. I don't know. Maybe some reckless teenagers brought it up here way back when. <laughs> so we can keep going up. Whatever. I don't know if I went up further last time. Um, but we can. Uh, we just found out that our good friend's brother needs to have surgery. He was practicing. Practicing? What? Because they didn't actually have the no, Seattle to Portland. Practice or Bike ride. And oh. training and got so our our friend that's training for the Seattle to Portland oh, bike, bike ride. Tires. Oh, hang on. Anyway, our friend's brother is also training for the same bike ride, and someone hit him in the back of this car or back of his no, he, someone bike. Crashed in front of him and then he went into him and over him. Yeah. So, so he has to have surgery on Wednesday. And her, our friend is really worried for her brother. There's a huge tire, I guess I need to show Two you. Two big tires. Two? Oh, wow. You guys, these are, go and stand next to it, Jace. Go in there and, these are like these are big massive. Tractor tires. Yeah, tractor this tires. This is part of the logging trucks. I know, they're just massive, look at that. Like up to his waist on its side. Wow, that's crazy. Can you even see this one? That one's worn down. Overgrown. That one's like all torn up. This one's actually in good, like good tread. Yeah, it's crazy in an old like gas yeah. can, oil can or something. Okay. Crazy. But you can see why I like coming up here because it's so pretty. But I'm not like you. I don't like elevation gain. Oh. I like pretty. This is steeper than I've been doing, but it's been good for me. It's good. The heart rate going. Yep. Also, how is your COVID doing? Oh, good. Uh, like here. Right. Yeah, a little stuffiness, but I'm good. He hasn't had any of the achies. I don't even know that you got a fever, but you just definitely had body aches and didn't feel well. Slept most of two days. But you'll go to work tomorrow? Yep. Because he's been pretty symptom free for two days, two and a half days. So by the time he gets till tomorrow, he'll be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I haven't come up this far. So what is at the top? Like, is this just a... This goes all the way, to, like, I think goes all the way up. Up Tiger? I think so. Okay, well... We don't have to do that. We'll see how far it goes. I'm doing well so far. Yeah. So this is a scooper. I think you dug that out. It's a big, uh... Like... Bulldozer scoop or something. It's crazy. Crazy. But I won't all right, we've had to cut off the trail and come to the side trail. I'm in like dash to get to the bathroom. I need a public bathroom. <laughs> like, so we're speed walking and clinching. And <laughs> trying to get there fast. <sighs> but this is fun. 
Oh yeah, I'm having this is great. I love doing this. Yeah. I feel better. Yeah, I feel much better. All right, let's go. We've learned we just go with apple. I think the one she had was a knockoff. I don't know. I would rather just stick with a real product. Yeah, stick with the real one. Okay, found a broom. I feel like the one we had was really good, but oh well, this one will do. Okay, changed our mind. This one has a cool little thing where you can step on the back of the, yeah. whatever that tray thingy is. Dustpan. So, dustpan, whatever, yeah, dustpan, I forgot the word. So where does this one go? Don't mind me, I'm having a little protein bar here real quick. Um, We just hopped on the highway to head over to Cash and Carry. It's the only place where he can get register tape, right? Yeah. And um, Come on dude, nobody's coming, go. It's just in the next city over, but it's the only place where we've been able to find it. We can't find it at office stores or Costco or... And the second we got on the highway, Abby called. And I knew instantly, I looked at the time, it's two o'clock and I was like, Abby wants to come home. And I looked at the message and she's like, I have a migraine, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> so we're turning around and we're going back to pick her up. I told her to go to the nurse's office um, and hang out there until we can get there. Um, two minutes earlier and we wouldn't have gotten on the highway and I could have gotten her really quick, but um, we'll be there in just a few minutes. We're gonna go get her, take her home. We've gotta run and get this um, register tape. And then when we get back, Ashley and I need to blow up, I don't know, 50 balloons to get ready for a party tomorrow for her activity at church. They're having a little uh, talent showcase, which is gonna be kind of fun. And we're in charge of decorating one little teeny tiny area. So Ashley's excited about doing that and she has a cheer orientation Zoom meeting with the coaches and the other parents. So she's very excited to do cheerleading this summer. And um, so we have that to tonight. Her engaged in something. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna give her something to do um, a couple days a week. Her own activity. Yeah, it's definitely her own thing. And I think the older girls are gonna be very much involved in wanting to see her and go to any kind of performances that she has. And so I think it's gonna be really fun for her. Poor thing, this doesn't feel good. I hope she, she'll be fine. She just needs to go and lay down. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now Somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know. So I was trying to open up the car here and um, I kind of slipped off the side of my flip flop. And luckily the car was here because I would have just gone flat down. Um, so Jason got some soap for the store as well as the register tape. You're going to have to buy it in bulk. And then I found this um, coconut cream. I've heard a lot about it in Italian sodas or other you know, drinks or whatever. So I got that to try that. It was only like $5. And then tater tots for Chelsea. We did not get, they did not have hash browns. Man, hash browns are hard to find. And <laughs> she absolutely loves them. And then we just went ahead and splurged. Do we need one of those now? I think we do need one of them Is now. It now or I think we wait? I need to make sure it's okay. I think we need to make sure it's okay. So I was going to get him bottled soda. It's like one of his favorite things. It was gonna be root beer, but when we saw this vanilla well, cream. Vanilla cream's still good, hand me one. Well, are, are you having one? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm having this one. So happy Father's Day. When's that, is Sunday? Uh, no, next Sunday. I don't know. When is Father's Day? <laughs> so what he doesn't know is that I've already ordered his Father's Day present. This was going to be one of the other ones, but I've already ordered his other Father's Day present. He just doesn't know I've done that. Also, I know I don't look that great. I just didn't care to like put makeup on. I just didn't care to put makeup on. But also, my shirt, it's like that. It's the exact same one as the white shirt that I have with black stripes. It's soft. It's soft, yeah. And uh, I got it at the white and black one I got it at Costco in Hawaii. And I absolutely loved it, but 
that size was too big and I haven't been in a Costco size for so long that I was actually shocked that I that one was too big on me and so today when I went back they had them on clearance for $4.97 and so I got this one and a green one um, for five bucks each and I got one of them in a smaller size which was kind of fun I got it I'll just say it it was an extra large and I don't know the last time probably pre Ashley that I was <laughs> in an extra large versus like a, an extra extra or a, a 2x so I don't good know good for you love good for you the weight may not be showing it but my clothes are showing nice, it nice dude so <laughs> I didn't even turn the camera on to catch that. Okay, for as quickly as Jason eats food, when he drinks drinks like this, he like re-eats it in his mouth. What like, are you talking about re -eat? You swish it around. You, you gotta savor it. You gotta. Uh, this is the only thing that you do that way. <laughs> fries, you'll put like four of them. He'll grab a whole handful of fries and shove them into his mouth. But like a drink, we want to eat it twice. Eat it twice. <laughs> yeah, you're like swishing around, gargle. Ah. Oh, gargle. <laughs> you're close. <laughs> you swish it like twice. It's disgusting. I, I mean, I'm glad you enjoy it. That's why we get them as a, like an extra every once in a while. But I like, I don't want to be around you when you're <laughs> drinking them. I love you, but it's kind of gross. I have like a weird thing. I don't like to hear people eat. No one likes to hear people eat. Yeah, but some are more bothered about it. All right, so I'm gonna show you really quick. Oh, maybe, Jason, can you hold the camera for me? We've blown up all the balloons, but I wanted to show you, we're doing a new method this time. So I've got these two balloons here that I'm gonna show you. So you blow up two balloons, but before you tie them, you have two of them, and then I'm gonna tie those two together. There's a lot of blue in the shot. Yeah. So, I've got those two tied together, okay? Then I have held the other two in my hand because then I'm going to take these two and I'm going to twist them around each other and then they become a bundle okay so this is our last set of four but then look what we've made that looks pretty cool I know it does, looks really it? cool so now we're going to take each of the bundles and I've got to find some twine or string or something they use fishing line the experts do uh, but I don't have any fishing line and then you take a bundle next to another bundle. Obviously, this isn't going to be the color order. And you're going to take the fishing line. That's Ukraine, huh? That's Ukraine. Oh, it is. Ukraine colors. Um, and you're going to kind of wrap the string around this set of balloons and then around this set of balloons. And you're going to marry them together like that. So that's our next step is to make the whole rainbow. So, and if you have a color, like we had good even amounts for all four and some of them we didn't. So we just did the next color, you know, in our set of colors. So now we're gonna wrap them all together. Okay, so I found this roll. This is perfect because it's nice and thin um, and I can wrap it around. That is super cool. Isn't this so That's cool? Super we're almost cool. Done do. Yeah, we're almost done. You guys, it is really easy, but I don't think we can film doing it because I need all hands <laughs> on deck. But I take this bundle and now I'm gonna. That's add... the wrong one. No, it's not. I have this one here. Oh, you have one. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's see. Yeah, we can film it. Yeah, I'm gonna take this bundle here, and I've got my string, and I'm gonna attach it to this balloon, and then I'm gonna wrap it back over one more balloon, and then bring it back through the middle of this one, so that I'm back out on the outside with the string like this right here, in order to add the next bundle. I can. Okay, put the camera. Down. Okay. Yeah, check it out. Isn't that cool? That looks it's really cool. Really cool. <laughs> really cool. It's really fun. Look, look, look and the it's sturdy. Like it's not gonna, you know, come undone. But I do need to cut the string and tie a knot into the balloons here. Then I can have a string to be able to attach it to something where we're going. Look at it on the camera. It's, like... it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Look how cool. That is so stinking cool. I should have done this for your birthday. The rainbow a gigantic rainbow. That's cool. So now we gotta figure out how to get that into our car. But it doesn't have to go into the car until tomorrow. Yeah, let's leave it here. Yeah, I think it will fit into the car. We'll just put the seats down and then just put it in. You'll, you'll sit there. It'll be fine. We've gotten balloons into the car before. But I am I am quite impressed with that method. I, that is working, that worked really, really well. 
thank you for your help. She's not feeling so great right now. She had a little bout of acid reflux right in the middle of us doing the balloons. Goldfish. Goldfish and should we show them the little muffins that we got? Yeah. The little culprit. So we got these from Costco today. Ooh. They're mini raspberry cakes with buttercream icing. Well, they're not that. Yeah, they are. What do you mean they are not that? Well, Costco called us and they were worried because some of their muffins um, were like a sh what did that? I remember what they said. But they, they accidentally us? got this raspberry frosting on another set of muffins somehow. And they didn't have it marked accurately. And so if anyone had an allergy to raspberries, they would be like in bad shape. So actually Costco called me today. And they're like, hey, That's if you nice. have, they're like, if you got that batch, then I need you to bring it back. So that was very kind of them. Um, and she's like, did you buy some snickerdoodle muffins? And I was like, no. And she's like, okay, some of our snickerdoodle, that's what they were called, snickerdoodle cookies or something, accidentally got a raspberry frosting put on them. <laughs> so they were like, there's nothing on the packaging that says that there's raspberries in them. That's like, you know, not okay for us. And so like, you can bring them back. We'll either give you your money back or you can get something else. But we actually got what we paid for. What? Can you get ice cream? Can we get ice cream? Can we go get ice cream? No, we can't go get ice cream. Fine. You can ask your grandpa for ice cream. But because you just had acid reflux after eating your cupcake. Cooper? Yes, okay. acid, actually ice cream might do well with your acid reflux, but you don't need ice cream. Mm -hmm. And grandpa is the supplier of ice but cream. But he also said if whenever I, because I didn't get ice cream for my birthday, that he said. Uh, that's your call if you want to <laughs> cash in on that right now. Yeah. We're not going anywhere tonight until you're. Well, we're not going anywhere. We have yeah. your cheer Zoom. Zoom call. Yeah. Are you excited about cheer? Does that mean they'll tell us our teachers? I don't know. We'll find out. But we There's still have to go lot. get your uniforms. You're very excited to get your uniform, aren't you? I want my uniform. Yes. She wants her uniform so bad. They have um, try-ons next, or this coming Sunday. And actually, this coming Sunday, I have to speak in church on kindness. So, I don't think you guys are going to see this video until after I have spoken. Let me check my schedule. Yeah, this goes up the day after I have <laughs> given my talk at church. Um, so you won't be able to give me any advice, but it is not really a theme. They just wanted me, there's no talk that I'm basing it off of or a scripture that I'm basing it off of. It is literally the virtue of kindness. And he was like, that kind of, when the person who called me, he's in my, bishopric that's what we call it it's like a pastorship or whatever you whatever you know denomination you follow or whatever or clergyman if you want to call it that he asked me to speak and he was like you are the epitome of kindness and so I would like you to talk about the virtue of kindness and I thought that was a very big compliment from him I'm standing right here because it's great light and I don't have makeup on <laughs> so I'm trying to help myself in any way possible but um we have a lot of fun things this week as we round out our last full week of high of school not just high school 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 and next week we only have a few days of school and then we are going sorry picking up receipt we are going on vacation to my sister's wedding so i'm gonna put the camera down um if we do anything more exciting i will pick it back up but um i do need to start editing finish editing my sister's wedding video because we are only a week and a half out and I'm not even close to having it to a point where I can add music and make it all cutesy. I haven't even like gotten to that part. So put the camera down, I gotta go and edit. Places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you